for what to do with everything in our closet for spring cleaning. We've got Melanie Mar Mararino, Deputy Executive Editor of Red Book Magazine. Good morning, Good Melanie. Morning. Now, what do we do when we want to spring clean? What do we do with all of those clothes? How do we know what to get rid of? First, you want to really decide what you're going to keep, what you're going to get rid of. The rule of thumb is easy. If you love it, keep it. It doesn't matter if you haven't worn it in a season or two. Styles come and go. Keep it, hang on to it. But on the other hand, if you just keep looking at the same sweater over and over, you don't want to put it on, you leave it in the back of the closet, cut your losses. Give it to charity, give it to your girlfriend, your mother, like just get how, rid of it. How do we know what's okay to give to a nonprofit? Well, the thing is, if you wouldn't wear it in public, don't mm -hmm. expect anyone else to. So if it has holes, if it's sort of ratty beyond repair, throw it out or use it as a rag. If, however, you're getting rid of it because of fit, color, or style, it's just not for you, somebody else might love it. One woman's trash, another woman's treasure. So, you know, that's when you really decide whether to donate to charity. And especially now it's great to donate to charity because we can't forget that's usually tax deductible. So, Excellent you know, point. If, if you can donate it, do. Does everybody good. Excellent point. And there's so many needs. And you can make it fun. You can bring your girlfriends over and have a fun day a of it. clothing swap, you know. All, there's so many things to do in a way to recycle your clothes. But truly, as long as you don't have, you know, you want to keep everything in your closet to pieces that you just love because then you'll be able to streamline them in a very beautiful way. Now, I'm a busy mom, Melanie. Yeah. My mornings are hectic. How do I organize my closet quickly, easily, so I can find things? Well, I'll tell you, there are two, two schools of thought here. I like to go by the weather, so I want to know that my pants are in one place, my skirts are next to them, dresses, short sleeves, long sleeves, so I can look at the weather report and just go pick out something. Another way to do it is by color, so that you walk into your closet, you say, I want to wear red and black today. Pick a red top, black skirt, and you're done. It's really about just sort of how you put yourself together in the morning. That's how your closet should look. With shoes, however, it's a little different. Let me show you. <coughs> With shoes, you want to. This is great. You're sort of protecting your shoes, so you want to keep them in boxes, whether it's the original cardboard box. You mean all these boxes that are under the bed? Well, you know what? You should stack them in your closet. First, uh, label them with a photo uh -huh. on the outside so you know what you're looking at. You can say, yep, those are my red heels, those are my black flats. Right. Or you can get clear plastic boxes, Very which nice. are fantastic because there's no guesswork there. You know exactly what's in them. And either stack them on the floor of the closet or on shelves. And that way, once again, you're in, you're out, you're dressed. I love this. I'm Good so job. inspired. Go, Thank Melanie. you, Melanie. Thank you so much.